and welcome back to the channel everybody thank you for tuning in for yet another video so I'll ask you right off the bat even if you're not a monster truck fan or a big truck fan please try to stick around so you can see some crazy detail that's on these green light trucks if you're not aware green light is like a little bit more pricey collectible brand um, their vehicles really don't even compare to Hot Wheels Premium they're insanely detailed and amazing so I just was able to get another one of these um, from the diecast show that I went to so I'm super happy to have two now and so that means I can open up one so let's get right into it I'm just gonna open up one of them I think they're both the same the packaging looks to be quite alright so we'll cut one open I'm gonna put it on the turntable here which is going slower this time I had it going a little too fast last time so let's get in into one of these I think I'm just gonna open this one let's see what it looks like Alright, so out of the pack it goes. If you're not familiar with this, this is the first monster truck ever made. And it is Bigfoot, the 1974 Ford F-250. And now it didn't originally look like this. It had um, the name of the place, the owner, Bob Chandler. He had a auto shop or whatever kind of situation. And it originally wasn't named Bigfoot, but this was the truck. It was Midwest Autos, don't quote me on that one, I forget exactly what the name of it was. So there you have it, beautiful truck, big old old school Ford. I'll show you how it looks, going around, pointing out some of the details, as you see, tail lights, logo, license plate, all the details down the side, all the details on the front there. And it should, yep, up inside there, you can see the engine sitting up in there. Very tremendous detail. It's got a blower coming out of the hood. Big old roll bar on top with the KC lights. Extra batteries in the back, maybe a fuel tank. Can't quite tell what all that is right there, but looks like batteries. Bigfoot stamp going across the windshield there, which appears to be in the correct place. Both are the same. So let's go ahead and put it on some crush cars here looks pretty cool so let me know what you guys think of this very cool and I did, don't know if I mentioned but this is a hobby 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 exclusive so I believe you could only find these in like hobby stores um, as you see right there it appears to say hobby so I think this probably came from like a hobby lobby or something like that not too sure but a very cool truck can't wait to put it in displays and mess around with it a little bit and I'm happy to have another one in the pack still, so that worked out very well. So again, let me know what you think of it. Hope you enjoyed the quick review. I, I do like it. I think it looks great. Happy to have it. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe out there. Keep on collecting.